almost time for MPK, I guess. Yeah. We finally got the green light on that deal. Yeah, and Dad's been asking when he can fix the car, you know, that we tore up in two passes, but... We was my, just going to roll with it. Yeah, well, my whole problem is, is... What if he fixes it, and then in two more passes, we mess it all up again? Job Probably, hopefully not in two passes, but it's going to happen again, without a doubt. Like, Job security. Well, we, ain't, we ain't fixed this or nothing yet. Forget how nice this thing is. Oh, it's that's, because that's a hazard. Yeah, it's because we've been racing the old car. And it's nice as fuck. But then you look at this one. Yeah. You you really, did you set your coffee up there? No, I don't know what that is. It had to have came through the trailer. Yeah. Weird, huh? Yeah. 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 So it looked to me like everybody who doesn't race their MPK car on the street is gonna be rushing to get their MPK car ready. Lots of Russians around here right we now. Are, uh, we're filming still the street show and we literally have three weeks to get ready for MPK. And this week doesn't count because we're, we're headed out of town. Because we're headed out of town. So, <laughs> um, which we're in that boat too. Oh, Toter's yeah. not ready. We don't have a motor in the car. Um, motor's not even together we're still waiting it's on it's three weeks before mpk do you see a problem here ted i don't <laughs> yeah that's a problem though nah Ooh, that is that's a problem not for us why is that thing leaking dad what? you got something to catch this with uh, like like that yeah see got, that deal we got i don't understand why it's he comes to our shop and leaves, leaves bangs laying around we're gonna leave some oil laying around that's right Bangs and hats. <laughs> and shirts Anytime and he runs out of hats, he needs to just come to our house. <laughs> so some people felt like I was insensitive about you crashing the car. You are. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's funny because that's what I was thinking too. <laughs> I tried to explain to everybody, look, if he'd have been hurt, it'd have been a different deal. Absolutely. We knew he was okay, Absolutely. so I was mad at him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep. No, I knew. Yeah, no, I know. I knew you knew. It's all them sensitive folks on the YouTube. Like, what, what did that one person call us? Insensitive cold fish. Cold fish. <laughs> cold. I ain't never even heard that. No. I don't know. Cold I am pretty fish. cold. Sometimes I don't, you know, worry about other people's feelings. You know. Sometimes. But, <laughs> you know. It's the way it is. It's the way it is. Yeah. yeah. Like, look. At the end of the day, we knew he wasn't hurt. <laughs> He was up walking around. Most of that was probably adrenaline. After watching the end car video though, I don't know how he wasn't hurt. Yeah. He banged his face off and, the steering and wheel. Also for, <laughs> and also for all the people who are like, well, his belts weren't even loose. They were tight, you know, until yeah. he needed to reach the door or what yeah. was it, the door? Yeah, and he loosened them up and then didn't tighten them back, yeah. which we get it. And for all the people who are going, well, basically to Aiden, talking about why would you let your son race without a Hans? Look, a Hans ain't gonna do shit. Not in that car. Nothing in that car unless you've got, a Hans would've helped dad. Oh yeah. We'll get Aiden a neck but brace though, like that'll Aiden, help, like the, the soft squishy thing. We will figure it out. And for the people who are like, letting your son race in shorts, yeah, I know. I, we never said we were smart. Yeah. Look, I, I, that's the same stuff I used to do. I didn't even think about it. Like it never even crossed my mind, you know? I was. It's fine. I mean, to know? be 100% honest, you probably wouldn't wear pants in the Nova if they didn't make you. I don't sometimes. <laughs> you know, I've, I've raced that thing for years in flip flops. You, you know? used to race it without a helmet until one time <clears throat> Chief stood maybe. in the road. <clears throat> told me he wasn't gonna let me race anymore unless I brought a helmet. Yeah. Yes. And nobody ever said it was smart. No, and, no. And there's gonna be some differences now, like Aiden, we don't want to put a cage in the car, but at some point we get it. I don't want my son to get hurt. Yeah. You know, and it's a difference in, in being tough and being stupid. Yeah. I mean, if you think I'm insensitive, you're right, you are. <laughs> but I am, I get it. I'm a little insensitive. There's a different, yeah, but I'm insensitive is different than, than not but caring about your kid. When my son gets hurt. Yeah. It's going to be a different story. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, uh, we're going to, he's not going to race anymore without 
we need to put some sort of roll bar in the car just so that he can hook uh, up a five point harness. I'll take him something up real quick. Yeah. Like, I don't want to put a cage in the car, but it is what it is. The car ain't going to get any slower. It's steady going to get faster. But until that day comes, he's going to have a neck brace. He's going to wear his pants. He's going to wear his, his race shoes, all that stuff from now on. He was wearing Hey Dudes the other day. Yeah, he was. You know? He got out of the car and he goes, in the dudes. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, God dang. He switched his band. Yeah. I mean, but look, the way I look at it is... There's millions of drivers out on the road right now. They're not wearing all that. Not a neck stuff. brace one. Yeah, not a neck brace one, not a, a fire retardant shoe one, you no. know. I get it. He he could, you know, he's racing. People race on the street all the time. Oh, I'm not saying it's you're smart. The point you think you're making. I'm not saying that, that we're not dumb. I'm just saying things are gonna change. He will one hundred percent have all that safety stuff. That's the type of stuff that I admitted that I overlook. You know, I don't think about that type of stuff. And, you know, it takes something like this for you to realize it, you know? And for everybody else, that's done. He ain't racing anymore. Like, he's, uh, everybody thinks that we just put him in a fast car. He's been fast he's before. He's been fast before. Uh, Dad used to run 570s in the death trap, you know, all the time, you know? And, I mean, Talk seven. about unsafe. Yeah. Like it was very, very unsafe then with a with a wobble socket. A Mastercraft wobble stuff. socket. <laughs> yeah, that no, was a GM Goodrich. Oh, oh, my bad, my bad. From O'Reilly's, but you know, I get it. Things change, and and that's just asking for it. You know, so we'll 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 change things up a little bit. I I don't get in my car anymore without my Hans. No. So why should I let my son? You know, I get it. But that's, that's the type of stuff where we race for a living. So whenever we go and play with those little cars, we think, man, you can't get hurt in these, yeah. even though we know you can. But you yep. just don't think about that stuff, or at least I didn't until now. So we'll change it up. Yep. But, Shit happens quick, man. But hey, you know, that's years of life beating you down is what's made me insensitive. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, yeah, I'm cold hearted. I get it. Yeah. Like, I'll literally walk off from making somebody cry. <laughs> Don't even think about it. It is what it is. Yeah. So, but as I get older, I am getting more and more sensitive to stuff, yeah. you know? Like, uh, I don't care about somebody's feelings, but I'll watch a movie and cry by myself, you know? So, yeah. it just depends on how many days I've been up. Yeah. I'll be a crybaby if I don't get no sleep. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, um, Dad's gonna fix the little stuff that we messed up. Oh man, just, it, just a little. It just like, sucks. It's not even noticeable. Feel how beautiful the paint is, and then oh. I mean, that paint is nice, man. It's yeah. just smooth as glass. Yeah. So. So he's gonna fix this. We'll figure out some way to fix the wing. Well, Other and, than that, and, and we would come here a little bit more, but like I said, Dad's gonna be working on this while we go out of town this week. Yeah. So. And the motor is almost done, right? At yes. Gerald's. Yes. And the spare motor is. We have everything but the block. So hopefully at some point, a little saggy, huh? Yeah. We're gonna have that too. So. All right. Well. Yep. Go find something to do at the shop. Yep. So we got the Nova dropped off this morning. Uh, you know, obviously we're in an MPK thrash, and uh, so is everyone else. Yes. Yeah, so you know. we thought we'd come by here and see, you know, how Ryan Martin's living. Yeah. And uh, right. He's, he's living, living. He's right. living right. Is how he's living. <laughs> And uh, now Chuck is over here thrashing on uh, his new MPK car. That's not the death trap, huh? It is not the death trap. I'm assuming that the death trap's out in that trailer. I think the death trap is over at Duffy's because I think Chuck is doing some changes for our upcoming Chicago event. It might not happen. That might That's or cool. might not happen. That's cool. So I think he's getting some like and trucks. And so I think what he did was. Here. I think he hold that. I got to answer this. Oh, okay. He came to, um, I think on his way to Duffy's to drop that car off. He said he called and goes, hey, I'm going to work on the other car for a little bit. So he dropped that car off over there for Duffy to do some suspension stuff. Mm -hmm. And then uh, decided to come and put his transmission in today. I mean, that's a start. That's a start. You got to do is. something. Yeah, you got to start somewhere. I mean, Chuck's only known about it for six months. So, yeah. I mean, you know, I mean he, he can't out. do everything. No. You know. You know. He's got to be a rock star. Yeah. <laughs> He's still got to live his life. You know, the, the Chuck Sightsinger life. There's clubs to go to. Yeah. 
you know. Chicks to be banged. There's chi- yeah, there's you chicks know. to be banged. So, you know, Chuck's got other things to do. Yeah. What happened? Nothing. Oh, we were just talking about you deciding to work on this today. Hey! I, I, know, I knew I was going to catch some shit, but it's my own fault. <laughs> No, it's not your fault. That's what we're talking about, man. You've only had six months to prepare for this. Yeah. <laughs> the whores are more important. That's what I'm saying. There's chicks to be banged, clubs to be, you know. If Chuck don't go to them clubs, who's going to fill them up? Yeah. Who's going to fill up the clubs yeah, <laughs> if Chuck doesn't, doesn't go there? Shit just goes south whenever I hey. leave the camera. Yeah. There's alcohol. That's where we get the good content, though. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Our tires yeah. won't be here till Wednesday. Oh, yeah. No, that's fine. She don't watch this. <laughs> Turns out, look, Chuck doesn't just bang girls anymore. He's got girlfriends. Yeah. Hey. Not all willy nilly. He's married, right? Not yet. <laughs> oh, <hey. laughs> he's still, he goes, no, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> look, look, let's get it straight, man. I am not married. There's still time to back out of that deal. Hey, is she going to watch this, though? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, she knows. I already fucking. I already. Uh, I already I'm, yeah. a, I'm pretty shitty. You're, 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 uh, you're <laughs> because I'm pretty house. shitty. You can't expect to change you. Yeah. Exactly. I told her, I said, hey, I'm a little wild. That's all you got. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a real piece of shit, but you're gonna have a good time. That's right. That's right. That's what you should start out with. What's up, man? Oh, a real piece of shit, guys. but I promise we're gonna have a good time. Yeah, I've heard him use it. Works, huh? yeah, it I, I remember. I, I heard I've heard him use it. I heard him use it for about three different girls in Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, and you know what? They had yep. a good time. Yep. Yeah, they did. I just gotta. <laughs> so, so and then what? this car. So Chuck has a new car. This car has got a whole lot of history. And I, I really can't even begin to tell you about the history because I don't know it. Uh, this car has made a lot of laps on the track. I know that. And I know that it's won a lot of races. Yes. And it has a sunroof in it. It does. I've seen that. Is it a sunroof or a moonroof? Uh, I don't know the difference between them two. <laughs> I don't either. I don't know. But it depends on time like, of day. I do like how it still has the ground effects on it. It's a good looking car. Yeah. You know? Probably. Uh, so it, it's never had a 481X in it with the twins. It had a big block Chevy in it. And Jeff Lutz came over and and actually they took the car to Jeff Lutz. They got everything fitted with the 481X in it. And with the big block. Sudden, with the big block. And then Ryan decided to go Hemi Pro Charge. So then after that, Chuck decides to buy everything from Ryan. That's weird. Wow. So this is all Ryan's old shit. So, so this has won an MPK championship already. Uh, I don't know. I'm sure. I mean, it's like, at least won a few races in that series. So. So, so they got Lux to, to build everything, fit it all in there. And then if anybody knows anything, a big block Chevy and the 481X, no. It doesn't jive together. They aren't same? No, they're not the same. Oh. So Lutz had to change everything again. Yeah, I'm gonna guess what? So, big, for, from the big block Chevy. Small block. Chuck is staying small. This is a small oh, block. Oh, yeah, okay. My bad. This, this is, is not a 481X. Yes. This is a small block. This is a 481XL. I mean, <laughs> yeah. 481XL. It's there you real go. big in a, a small Fox body. Yes. So, yes. Uh, I have a feeling that this car has a whole lot of potential to be out of control. I, I've never, Especially you put Chuck behind the wheel. Yes. Okay, listen. You know? Look at this. Okay. So I both of my turbos on my car that on the death trap aren't as big as that one. Aren't as big as, as one of these. <laughs> like, yeah. That is a 98 millimeter. Like I've never even owned anything that big. You know? I've been a little guy my whole life, so I've never had anything that big. Like yeah. that's meaty. Yeah. <laughs> that's this, meaty. This, uh, <laughs> this car's gonna be out of control. No doubt. No doubt. Oh, look at that. They just got the Rossler put in. Looks all fresh, brand new. It's definitely fresh. Rossler's for everybody. Yeah. Man, I still got quite a bit to do, though. Hey, so Chuck, is this a moonroof or a sunroof? Uh, it's gonna be... Uh, <laughs> look, we don't, I don't know. I don't know. Let's ask Ryan. Ryan's a Mustang guy. It's, it's Ryan, is this a sunroof or a moonroof? Oh, that's a great question. I mean, a lot of people call them moonroofs because the sunroof, I think, goes back and a moonroof flips up. Just oh, so there is a difference. No, no, no there's a difference. Oh. I've, yeah. I've been corrected before. Yeah. People have been like, oh, okay. uh, that's a moonroof, and I'm like, these cars, the, the, the roofs are too small to actually have sunroofs, so they because can, they can't slide back into the... Sorry, Javi. Javi so all, they can, yeah. all they can do is go up in the back. And so I believe, and there's going to be people out here that know more than me, but I believe that's what designates it between a sunroof and a moonroof. Okay. There you so go. it is a moonroof. I knew, I knew he was a Mustang. Yeah. I just figured we... I just know that Chuck loves it. 
No, I, I, I really don't like it. You don't, you really don't like it? Why? Yeah. I don't. Why? It's yeah. too heavy. You know because me, man. I'm that lightweight heavy. guy. Well, take it off and have nothing. Yeah, put you're not lightweight at all. It's not gonna happen before the first race. I, at the first race, they'll be lucky to have a windshield. So this this car, without keeping you from you know doing everything you got to do, this car does have a lot of history. Whose yes. car was this before Ryan bought it? Well, like Ryan specifically tracked this car back down and found it because of the history that it has. In, well, in Canada, Ryan, can you can you send the guy hey? to Canada get to get it? Yeah, yeah. So, okay, so, so whose car was this? That story's good too. Yeah. So so whose this, car was this? And Mike McCullough. Mike McCullough owned did. this. Yeah. Mike McCullough is a huge car guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he's a, he, he's a wheeler dealer. He, he, buys cars. He ran right? worldwide muscle cars yep. for Steve Uderberg. Yep. So they bought sold classics. What's up, buddy? And he knew. Yeah, whatever. He knew. <laughs> he's like, yeah. They got no time for you today. He's, he's, he's in there, so he's yeah, going to hang I got time there. for you. Uh, so he knew. So he, you know, he wanted to get into race cars. Mike's, Mike's been a Mustang guy yes, as long as we've ever known. Yes. Him. yes. So, he, so he decided he wanted to go racing. Well, him and Chris were buddies, which was your old friend, Chris. Chris Derek. Derek. Chris Derek. A little Who? history about Chris Derek. Back in the day, wins a shit. lot of races. Yeah. Can't work on a damn thing. Well, no. he, he's, he's just a driver. Yeah. He's just a driver. He's just a but he was good at it. Yeah, he, he didn't talk. He, he was yes. good at talking shit, though. He yeah. didn't talk shit. Couldn't back and it up. That's why he got Chuck. Yeah, that's what <laughs> he could talk chuck. shit. Yeah. Couldn't fight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he got Chuck fight. in a lot of fights. <laughs> yes, yeah. he did. But that was kind of before my time. I, yeah. I, I just know of Chris Derrick. I was never around whenever he was racing. Like it was the the very end of his racing. Whenever, yeah. yeah. Kind of like he was kind of like Mike G. No, he, he had you a streak. I, mean? like, oh, sure. I didn't know a whole lot about him. Yeah. I just know that knew of it. Yes, he knew when he raced. Yes, he knew his car was fast. A story behind Chris Derrick, like I met him, my oldest daughter, who is now going to be 30 years old in oh two days. God. Gosh, I'm gonna be old. I know. Thanks. That makes <laughs> you feel old too, though. Okay, yeah. she's going to be 30 in two days. She was asleep in the passenger seat of my 94 Lightning, yeah. sound asleep. Uh -huh. I was going home, and this punk ass kid pulls up next to me at the railroad tracks in Edmond and hosses his Mustang. So I turned on the nitrous bottle real quick, and I raced him down 15th Street, Edmond, as I was going home. And we were side by side. The dude's like, pull over. He goes, what the hell's in that truck? And I go, oh, it's just a lightning. He goes, no, I've raced those before. And that thing was like right next to me. Well, this punk ass kid was Chris Derrick. Anyway, while me and Chris Derrick were outside the, the vehicle up there bullshitting and stuff, little girl rolls down the window and goes, daddy, I peed in the seat. <laughs> and Chris Derrick goes, uh, who is that? And I go, that's my daughter. I go, she was asleep. We just left Chuck E. Cheese and I'm taking her home. And he goes, and you just street race me? And I'm like, well, yeah. And uh, he she goes, likes the race. okay. Legit. Yeah. And so, anyway. Like we all So that's how Yeah, I no, no, no. We never we said we were smart. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Listen, yeah. we're, we're, we're at stupid. in life for a reason. It's stupid, yeah. yeah. But yeah. here's the deal. I met Chris Derrick there. After that, we became friends. And then he wanted to make his car faster. And I, so I helped him work, seemed like every night after So work. the car that he raced was the one that you raced him in? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Wow. And so I raced it too. I raced it yes. too on, on 12th Street. Right. So then I after that he said I want to make it faster. And so we had he taught, I got time to take the Duffy. Took it to Duffy to just fix the cage and maybe put some wheel tubs in it so we could go to. You can't do that. And it left there like you know yeah. twenty thousand dollars more. Yeah. But the problem is we left Duffy's shop seriously untested, brand new Bennett motor in it, put a Bennett motor in it, left Duffy's shop and went to the first World Ford Challenge ever in Bowling Green, Kentucky. And Chris calls and says, I want past tech. He said the frame rails were notched. You can't have notched frame rails back then. So Duffy goes, I can fix that. So we got my mom's Lexus and me and Duffy and Squeezy, if anybody knows Squeezy. Oh I do, man, I, do, man. I, haven't I haven't heard that name in 10 name years. Since, uh, Mod Street. Yeah. So this is like a, yeah. this is so like me, a nostalgia back in the yeah. day. It is. So I had no idea when we turned the camera on that this who, was going to go was here. Yeah. I just knew that this car had a lot of history. Yeah. Yeah. So me, Squeezy, and Duffy. That part yet. No, uh -uh. Yeah, me, Squeezy, and Duffy jump in my mom's Lexus, haul ass to Bowling Green, Kentucky. Okay. And uh, get to Bowling Green, Kentucky. Duffy glues these deals he made, put them on the frame rail, undercoats it, runs it back through tech. They say nothing. They think he put new frame rails in. So car passes tech. Boom. We run World Ford Challenge, and so Duffy's there. Duffy's wanting to go home, and Chris goes, well, I'll just pay you to stay for the weekend. Yeah. Well, back then, Duffy's like, well, I need 400 bucks if I'm staying all weekend. <laughs> Chris and like, Chris Derrick's like, done. Okay, yeah. done. Yeah. 400 bucks, I got you. So we stay there, That's race the whole, deal, like, race the whole thing. Like to have that, deal <laughs> yeah. Yeah. that was like Thursday. So we yeah. race Thursday, Friday, pay, Saturday, Sunday. Pay Duffy four hundred bucks for a weekend. They paid him five hundred dollars a day. Yeah, <laughs> he's five hundred dollars a minute now. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, we make it to the we make it to the finals. Like 
Chris Derrick from Midwest City and, and you know, some dumbass helping him, Chuck. And we make it to the finals and race Alan Dudley in the first ever World Ford Challenge. And we make it to the finals. Now, we ran 890s um, and he went 860s. But that was like the first Pro Charger on a car out there with fuel injection. Wayne Young yeah. was tuning it. Yeah. And uh, anyway, Alan Dudley kicked her ass in the first World Ford Challenge. So that's how it all started. And then down the road, Mike McCall is from here. He's from Tulsa. They found this car, and I think Don Dials worked on it. Duffy worked on it. Uh, Jeff Holloway worked I want to on say it. Rich Nordstrom. I think that's who originally who built, built the car. car. That's who built the car originally. And I don't then, know if I'm saying his name so right. Jeff or. Holloway. I, that's another name. Yeah. Right. yeah. So all yeah. these guys. Tickler. Yeah. All these guys worked on it. And Bobby. Then Chris Derrick <laughs> raced this thing, and then they end up putting twin turbos on it, and then had a twin turbo small block, like a 427. Yeah. Uh, Yates headed twin turbo badass mama. Hey, they won every for one okay. day. They won so in 2005, race. never never lost never lost a race. So with it, right? I have I have this on the cover of uh, fastest street cars. Yeah. I have the magazine. So like I have it with this thing doing a burnout. On with the with this car here. Yeah, on, on the, the cover. Car, yeah. On the cover on the doing cover a burnout. Of fastest street cars. That's yeah. badass. And in 2005, everything Chris Derrick and Mike McCullough entered. This car never lost one round of racing in 2005. Not, not one round. I think first car to go 200. First car to go 200. Always yeah. went 200, 201, Yeah, it always went over 200. And we were at Tulsa People's, you know, everybody's running like 170 and stuff, and then 201, everybody's like, what the hell did that thing? Yeah. You know, but it was just, it was before its time, and he won. One of the cool stories about this car was uh, we showed up at, uh, uh, we pissed everybody off, but we showed up at Arc City. And we got there right after qualifying. But all, and so they said, man, there's only 15 cars, so you have to qualify number 16. And everybody, all the racers were like, yeah, if he takes that 16 spot, we're good. So Chris is like, well, we, we missed qualifying, so we'll take 16. So we qualify number 16. Well, we got to race the fastest guy there. Well, at that time, they were racing quarter mile at Arc City. Whoa. So Chris Derrick, let's go to the button, and this car does what it does, and it just goes down through there. Chris pulls the chutes, lets off, like, woohoo! And that dude just goes around him. Chris's like, oh shit, this is a quarter mile race. Gets back on the gas with the parachutes out, drives around the guy, oh, man. wins that round. That guy is. And that was the number one qualifier. That guy is so mad, he's doing donuts in the pits at uh, Arc City, throws his helmet across the pits, told him to F off, I'm never coming back to your race. <laughs> Uh, and before, with yeah, and, yeah, he thought, he thought Chris was sure. fucking with him. Well, he didn't mean to. Like, it was a truly... But if you knew Chris, but I'm sure but if you knew Chris, Chris, you would think that he would Yeah, he did. Yeah. Yeah. You know? So, but we won that event. That was all crazy. We won that whole event, and then they pretty much told us, yeah. uh, if well, if you don't qualify, you don't race from now on. <laughs> but they let us in. Like, we I mean, missed the rest of the Yeah. <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> so, anyway, it, we had a good time in this car, and, and, and so it had history. And so when Ryan bought it, it's like... You know, and then I know. How did you track it then? So, like, how, how long ago so here was the car gone? When did you get it back? So we've had it for about I've had it for about three years now, I think. So about three years ago, uh, Billy said he wanted to race. Billy's like, I want to race. I want to make car. I remember that. Okay. <laughs> so it didn't last long. I know, didn't last long. So, but I said, hey, well, it makes sense. You're a Mustang guy. All the all the other cars he's ever had are Mustangs. Yep. So I'm thinking about what we could find, and I'm like, man, I wonder. You know what? McCullough said he saw this car popped back up for sale. Like the guy tracked him down and said, if you know anybody wants this car, let me know. Well, it switched hands again and went from the States, like Detroit or something, and ended up going to Canada. So I said, well, I wonder if you can get a hold of that guy. Let's just see if what's up with that car. Turns out that it's sitting, it was sitting, the only thing the guy did was literally, since it went from McCullough to another guy to another guy, went all the way to Canada, somebody put a new third member in it. All they did, didn't yeah. do anything else. So I called the guy and said, hey, do you want to sell? And the guy's like, yeah, I'll sell it, but you're not going to want to pay me what I want for it, blah, blah, blah. And I said, well, we'll, we'll try me. What is it? Because you know how much these things are to build. You know what yeah, I mean? And, yeah. and I knew that it wasn't like, listen, it wasn't top tier car. It was awesome back in the day, completely outdated. So a lot of it needed to be redone. The guy said, 15 grand. I was like, that's not even that bad. Okay. Yeah. I was like, Man, grand. I don't know. Yeah. So I said, hey, but how about 12.5? And he said, well, if you'll come get it from Canada, I'll sell it to you for 12.5. I said, okay, done. So I call up my buddy. So I call up my buddy. Uh, uh oh, I'm trying to think, Jim. Okay, so Jim, Jim at the time. Jim, decides, Jim, 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 big tall Jim. Yeah, weed Jim. Yeah, weed Jim. <laughs> Jim's gonna go pick us up. <laughs> Jim doesn't have a job because Jim sells weed, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have no job. Yeah. Okay. 
So Jim, we're just gonna call him Jim. His real yeah. name wasn't Jim. Yeah. So, yeah. This guy's name is Jim. Right? Allegedly Jim. <laughs> so they're referring to him guy, as Jim. Yeah. So this Jim guy decides I don't have anything to do, so I will go get this car for you. You just pay the fuel and you give me a little spending money, like to get there and eat and stuff like that, and I'll take three, four days. I've always wanted to go to Canada. I'll go to Canada. So Jim goes to Canada, right? Well, on his way there, Jim just, or, you know, before he left, Jim decides, well, hey, I need to, I need to take some protection with me. I got fifty thousand dollars <laughs> worth of Ryan's money. I should take a gun with me in case I get mugged or robbed or whatever. Well, you know what you can't do when you cross the Canada, the Canada border? Take a gun. You cannot take firearms with you. you. Can't. Absolutely not. Well, instead of telling them that the gun was in the car, he went ahead and let him search his car. Yeah. So, like, the, there was some reason. Oh, oh the cash. The cash. So he said, hey, I just want you guys to know I have this cash. They went, ding, why do you have that much cash? Well, I'm going to buy a car for my buddy. Well, I guess they didn't believe him, right? Yeah. So, like, we need to search your vehicle. So they search his car, and it's under his console. He's got, he has his piece sitting there. So they find it, arrest him immediately. Take him to a <laughs> Canadian holding facility. Okay. So he gets arrested. With the Mount Me hats and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably there. Probably had made him eat, like, mayonnaise sandwiches or something. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. But, but, so he's he's in a Canadian jail, and we don't know this because all we know is that he called me that day to say he was on his, like, you know, like, the second day. He's on his way. Everything's good. Nothing. So his wife's calling me going, have you talked to Jim? I haven't talked to Jim. I'm like, no. That's weird. So it's been, like, 48 hours, and he's got my money, my trailer, uh, and he's on his way to Canada, and that's all we know. So his wife probably thinks that that like he left her, and I'm cons- like going, well, did he take fifteen grand, and that's why he left her? Yeah, fifteen thousand dollars of my money? Like, what the hell's going on here? Like, all kinds of weird shit was going through my mind. Uh, a day later, he calls. So it'd been thirty six hours or something. He calls and says, "Hey, uh, I told me the story. They gave me the money back. They're gonna, you know, they they, however, they determined that it wasn't something used for something else. I guess I think they might have called the guy that was that um, that we were buying the car from to verify that he was on his way over there, but he still." was in trouble for taking a gun across state lines or across into Canada, you still yeah. can't do that. Yeah. So he had to wait till he could see a judge. Wow. So he was there for, I don't know, three or four days or something <laughs> before he could get out of jail to go back to get back on the road to go get the car. So then they ended up letting him out. They kept his gun, said you can't obviously you confiscated him, you can't have that back. So then he gets on the road, goes to get the car. Everything from then went okay. Yeah. He goes back across the border on his way back, and he's like, well, I made it across the border, so I'm going, okay, cool, call make a car, make it back, okay. And he stops off at, there's this really good barbecue uh, place in St. Louis. Oh, I've heard this story. <laughs> okay. So he stops off in St. Louis in the hood, right, to eat Pappy's, because we told him, like, we, we've done it before, we're like, hey, man, if you're going through St. Louis, Pappy's are pretty good. So he stops, pulls truck and trailer in the front. When I say the front, I mean, like, there's the window that you're inside eating, yeah. right? Goes in and eats by himself, comes back out, windows are busted out of his truck. They stole his luggage, whatever cash of mine that was left over, <laughs> his watch. So he calls me, he's like, man, you're not going to believe this, but they, they broke into my truck in front of the building. I don't know how nobody saw it. Was it his truck it. or your truck? It was his truck. Oh. Yeah. So he had to go find, I can't remember, we had to get him money somehow so he could make it back because they took like everything he had, he only had his wallet on him. So for some reason, the cash was in the truck. They took his luggage, they took his watch. Uh, injectors. He bought a set of injectors. Like he got, he got him a set of billet atomizers on the way back, and so he had a <laughs> set of eight billet atomizers in the back. Of they took that. They took the injectors too. Golly. So that's the funny stories about this thing. So when we yeah. finally get it back, um, then we look it over and obviously need some stuff. And we didn't really do much to it. Uh, we just put a big block Chevy and an F3 on it. Yeah, that's because they had yeah. pro charger on it. Pro charger. Really, yeah. And we <laughs> tested it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, and so we got it all running, got a dyno, made 20, I want to say 2750 or something, relatively conservative number, but it was going to be a competitive big tire car for no prep, yeah, you know, yeah. at the time, three or four years ago. Of course. And uh, anyway, it ended up being not Billy's thing, decided not to do it. Changed his mind. Changed his mind, you could say. Yep. And exactly. so. Masked man coming up behind you. Yeah. What's up? It's not Tonto, but. Sure. Sure. <clears throat> That's we got Charles. eight, not COVID. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Not for what this group's got. Yeah, that's pretty cool, though. Lots of history. Yeah. They're going to be out of control cool. fast, though. Well, I, and like I said, I think, you know, Billy raced it. Billy, you know? it, it, I mean, he Billy, drove it a couple times. Billy drove it a couple times, figured out it wasn't his cup of tea or whatever, yeah. and then... Uh, that's because he drove it into the wall. Well, that's, that is that. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's the case. God damn. Address the I elephant mean, in the yeah. room. Yeah. Yeah, no. I mean, hey, my dad's a crash. You yeah. Know. <coughs> and it, it was a. Crashes. It was more like a skim. Yeah, yeah, no, he barely he hit the wall. But, but, no, but it's barely, probably enough it, to it make people much. go, it's probably enough, enough to make me go, man, maybe this is not what I want to do. Oh, for sure. You know? For sure. And Because you could you could see how fast it could have been bad. For sure. And, and At least he lifted. Yeah, I mean, I, I think, you know, that being said, I was like, hey, go 200 foot and let's check this car out. And about the 450 foot mark, he was scraped the wall. It went sideways and he scraped the wall. So he went way too far. He went way farther yeah. than he was supposed to. I, I guess I think he wanted to get in and go, man, I can do this. This is easy. Yeah. Well, and it's crazy because you put him in a Mustang on a sketchy street. He's right and, yeah, and he's good. He can yeah. drive. Yeah. On a small tire. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, you I think, think but the, the, the misconception is. And, and this thing, I mean, when you start going, you know, 2,700 horsepower is way different than That's a, lot. a street car. It's the, a lot. Yes. It's, a big it's very, very well, different. And the misconception is. I can make 1500 on a small tire and do fine. So surely I can make 2500 on a big tire and really do fine. Yeah, but right. a big tire is, if you've totally never been on a big tire, they're it. totally different. Yeah. Yep. And, and he said that, he said, look, I watch you guys do what you do afterwards. And he said, you guys really make it look easy. But he's like, it ain't easy. Nope. Yeah. He said, so I, I can understand. He well, said, I never understood you're strictly this. a big tire guy, you don't understand how hard it is to small tire either. Correct. You know, I mean, Booger knows how to small tire. Yeah, kind of. You didn't, you didn't come to Thunder Valley this past Not week. Not right. How did you want it? Oh, this yeah, weekend. Two weeks ago. Yeah. yeah. This he won weekend. the last weekend, but this weekend he didn't do as well as he wanted. Yeah. Win some, you lose Yeah. That's 50%, man. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty good odds. Yeah. So, uh, and then, and then Poncia drove it for MPK for two seasons or yeah. I don't know, one or Season two seasons. Season and a half or, yeah. Same, same. So we never pulled it out. It was all the same combo and it was just ended up going 415 was the fastest it ever went. And it wouldn't go any faster. There's nothing we could do. Just it would just break shit. Is all it would do. So, uh, and, and the car then, was heavy. And the car was heavy. Thirty, yeah. sorry, twenty nine hundred pounds with a big block Chevy and a blower. And it could have been the twenty five fifty combo. Oh so yeah. It, at the time, it yeah. was four hundred pounds. Yeah. Heavy. Well, what's this combo got to be now? Three thousand. Thirty one hundred. Yeah. Thirty one hundred. Thirty fifty. I think. Oh, okay. I yeah. Think it's thirty fifty. I think with no right. lockup, yeah, with right. no lockup. But check it out. Since then, so it used to have when even when Ponce drove it had full frame rails on it. Oh wow! It was, wow. Like uh, it was a front half, yeah, so, yeah. so it, it was yeah. a back half car. It was a yeah. real back half car. So, so when we knew we were doing this, that's when we called Jeff, and Jeff came in, and Jeff double frame railed it. So and Jeff did all this. Jeff did all the double frame. Yeah. Rail. It looks good. He did a great job. Yeah, Jeff did all this, and then. Did the motor plate stuff, and then during while we were doing the motor plates, Ryan called me and goes, "Hey, well, actually, sent me a text. Uh, I changed what we're going to do on our program. Uh, I'll tell you about it tomorrow." And I go, "Okay." And then a couple days went by, me and Ryan all talked. They sent me a couple pictures and said, uh, "Sent me a picture with this motor uh, sitting in the car." And I was like, "Oh yeah?" He goes, "Yeah, I mean, it's funny. The ears are burning. Is that ears are burning? Ears burning? Oh." So, and so we decided to go, and look, that big block Chevy is never going to go fast enough. And we need to put one of these Proline motors in it. Yeah. Obviously, you were changing up your program and going to him, the Pro Charge him in both cars. Yeah. And so you had two of these sitting around, you were going to sell me one of them. And then after me and you got to talking, I basically bought Oh, that's right. That's right. All your 41X stuff, so now I got two of these motors. You, you paid did. for Ryan to put a Hemi in his car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You absolutely did do that. You, so, your, your two motors got me one, and that's yeah. okay. I'm totally good with it. So, but, but that being said, it had a lot to do with oh, the good. fact of knowing what the capabilities are of the big block Chevy. Yeah. And you wanted to be, I mean, you know, is what it is. Knowing what I wanted to do. Knowing what you want to do. Right now, in my opinion, arguably you have the championship winning combination in this car. You and just won the championship with, with this, this motor, motor, with this yeah. setup, with that setup right there. Yeah. You just won the season three championship with this car. So well, not just, but two years ago. Two yeah, years ago. you last know, time the had last time. Yeah, the, the last time there was an So MTK. I'm starting off with what you won a championship yeah. with. Yeah. You know, yeah, we, you know, you you got me penalized for you know got me a little bit of I got a lead trophy. <laughs> Here, take this lead trophy. Yeah, yeah I got I bought the motor with a lead. It came with a lead trophy that yeah. Ryan got all the turbo guys. Yeah, but uh. So I'm, I'm excited to see what we can do with it. And, uh, no, it's cool. And we've learned, we've learned a lot since then. I think now this car, instead of being heavy, will end up being, a, I think, we may have, we're going to have to add weight to it to get it to race weight, but that's a lot better of a situation. At least you'll be able to put it where you want it yeah, and all that. In the back or whatever, you know. Yeah. So, I don't know, it's going to be cool. I think I'm, I'm excited, as you are, to get it done. Yeah. 
feel like it's gonna be an awesome combo. But so this is the motor that Ryan just won MPK with. Just to, yeah. you missed that. One of them. No, you know. The other one is is uh, going in my trailer, but it's wrapped up right there. See it? Yeah. It's all wrapped up in cellophane right there. Oh yeah. With yeah, jackets yeah. and hoodies laying on top of it with yeah. a trash can. Nice little flat spot. Yeah. That's, that's just, a part. it's a workbench. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred hundred thousand dollar motor sitting there wrapped up with hoodies and a trash can. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Throw this shit over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. So yeah, so we do have a spare, and, and so you know, if you're gonna win a championship, obviously you gotta have enough parts in the trailer because you understand sometimes we race back to back, sometimes we race three weeks in a row. So and sometimes well, shit just happens. That's what yeah. we're so, trying to get our spare going yeah. right now too. So well, and, well people, and, unless you live that MPK lifestyle, you know, you understand. You so understand people see understand. us, and we go, still don't understand. Yeah. We just have buddies that tell us, "Hey man, you but you better get a spare." See, we kind of see the stuff that they're doing, yeah. and we're like. Well, you know, it's like it just depends on how 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 you how competitive you want to be. If you want to be the guy to go to MPK all the way and lean on your shit real hard and then break it and be cool with drinking beer and watching the rest of your buddies race, be that guy. And yeah. it's no problem. There's a lot of there's a lot of guys that that. But yeah. if you want to be the dude to be to be up there and race every round, you better have spare parts. Yep. And you better be able to swap them in between rounds. Yeah. They better be easy to work on. Yep. You can't drink beer and race. You can't. Well, Nobody told you, huh? Yeah. That's <laughs> shit. <laughs> He's like, what? Yeah. What kind of bullshit race do you What kind of to? race are you guys doing? Are y'all race that again? I like this piece right here. I like that. I need, I need two of these. I'm going to say, isn't that what we just got there I mean, or not, no? We got this. Oh. We need this and this yeah. on both cars instead of that stupid uh, clamp. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, those, that is nice. That's actually, to be honest with you, we got that for Chuck, but that's nicer than the than what I used. I used the clam, like yeah, you talked yeah. about. The clam's not bad, but, yeah. you know. Whenever all the trades are good. I forget, I mean, it's when you loan them to Dave, and then you get one back that isn't the one that you borrowed, out. and then they're stripped out, you know. Yeah. Holly handed it to me. Huh. I think he was, I holding, out. All the he was holding out. I said, where do we get that? He goes, oh, we've had that forever. Yeah. I can assure you, I never had that Holly just car. handed it to me, and I put it on. Yeah, Yeah, it's a nice piece. We can put this one on, you want air motive and waterman some of these. We just had that one forever. Works. Is that what you got? Yeah, but mine has the handle. Yeah. I kind of like this one better. But you know, the handle's nice. It makes it come yeah, off pretty quick. You can quickly disconnect mm -hmm. it. So what do you got left here, Chuck? It looks like you have, we got a measure for a drive shaft. We're gonna uh, wire yeah. the car. Couple wire. Fuel, yeah, a couple fuel lines. Uh, we got to wire the entire car. Uh, wire the entire car? Yeah. Uh, Front to back. Yep. And when's the first MPK? Uh, it's in two weeks. You got it. You're nailing it. Okay. And one week we're going to be out of town. Yeah. So. And you, correct me if I'm wrong, you just got all this to where you're just now able to work on it. Uh, no, that would be incorrect. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, sorry. I was just trying to make correct sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. You just <laughs> got hands on this deal. Yeah. No, actually, you haven't had much time for this deal. I bought these gone. motors about uh, probably three to four months ago. Yeah. From my buddy Ryan Martin. Yeah. yeah. And, uh. And uh, I got a whole pile of parts and stuff over there that he sold me with them. And uh, the cars, uh, yeah, just in your way. Just in my way. I keep going, hey, man, we bring a trailer? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, you gonna come get this shit? Yeah. And then uh, Jeff Lutz front half it and got all that done. We got it painted and stuff. So it's really been ready to be worked on for about two months. Uh, I got the motor in it in that time. Um, There's no motivation been, like uh, being ready. You've been busy. You just tell, you know, that's the deal. You've just been really busy. Well, I'll, I'll be really honest with you. Honestly, I didn't have a whole bunch of money coming off winter, and I just gave yeah. Ryan, I still owe Ryan money. My Our money is seasonal. money, Seasonal. Yeah. So my seasonal money. Um, You'd think we'd manage was, that shit better. Yeah, I, I'm not very good at managing. <laughs> we don't. We <laughs> managed to spend it. And I, and I know what wrong, Chuck man. does. You can tell yeah. by the interwebs yeah. when Chuck has money. Yeah, right. Because he's out doing everything on big badass he, boats. He buys he's on new cars. cars. <laughs> Two, three new cars yeah. in his stable, you know, yeah. with his 100 by 200 shop yeah. out there. Yeah. And like, you got all, there you go on front street. There you go, buddy. Yep. He's putting you all your shit out there. Well, okay. And, and and so when Saturday night, which was two nights Look, ago. Look, you only live once. Yeah. Said, hey, guess what? No Prep Kings is 100% official. And get ready. See you in two weeks. And I went, oh my God. Yeah. I, I can't miss nobody. And it hit him. I can't miss nobody. I know. Right. I know that I could have had it. I, I, I can't car. laugh too much. I just dropped my car off at Dad's shop for him to fix the quarter panels that we wrecked. Uh, at least, at ago, least two months ago. Two months ago, and I still don't have a motor for it. So, well, 
Oh, oh, it is what it is. <coughs> yeah, I'm going to do what I can do. We all work pretty good under pressure. Just That's what all, I'm saying. There's no better motivation good. than having a date that it's got to be done by. Yep. Yeah. So, luckily the combo is a tried, true. Uh, you don't, I mean, yeah, test the car with this thing in it, but as far as tune-ups and everything go, as you far, should be good to go. Far, I mean, like, really, Surely you're a good buddy. I mean, sold we, you the tune-ups with the motor and everything. I feel like you'll help me with it, yes. Okay. <laughs> He's not going to use them anymore, so, yeah. like, yeah. somebody should... Of, somebody, of tune -ups. somebody should be able to use them. Yeah. I mean, I you got what, street tune-ups, track tune-ups, yeah. everything. So, He's got a different combination, so I figure, uh, yeah, I figure at that point, if we get it started in time for the first race, uh, we'll throw something in it. Hopefully, I can make one or two passes before we actually have to race. Yeah. And uh, it's probably not going to be very pretty. It, it might be white. Like, it hey, might, the whole thing might be white. White's pretty. Yeah. But it... Well, it's probably all not. He's just saying it ain't going to all Like, it all ain't going to match. That's all right. <laughs> Different shades of but white. But I'm anxious to see how the Garrett's are going to do. Yeah, me too. Like, cause we've always had precisions, and we know the Garretts are bad motherfuckers. Well, now this has got twin ninety eights on it, Garretts, and uh, I think they move a lot of air. And, yeah. And, uh, so Garrett, we got some other turbos to try. You know, that was the thing yeah. I did not do is I didn't sell any of my turbo stuff off the off any either one of my cars because you Good never deal. <laughs> with all with all of the rule changes and stuff. You don't ever know where this stuff goes. No. So because right now I got ninety eights on mine. Too. Yeah. So, you know, we got other stuff we could try too, but I think the main key is is get everything on here that we can. And then, yeah. you know, the bad thing too, not the bad thing, but since we're using Jeff as our lead fabricator on this yeah. uh and he's filming another he's filming show. Another he's show. filming another show. show. He's filming our show. Yeah. And plus, he's got to get his MPK car ready. Well, to, and let's be realistic. I, plus, he's probably in his head right now thinking of what he's going to do to replace the 57. Yeah. So it's going to come. That's gonna. That's gonna. That's just another thing on his plate. Yeah. Luckily, there's not much left to do for fabrication. Right. Because he'll be yeah. able to knock a few things out and get back to focus on his stuff. Yeah. But uh, there's plenty for me to do. Like I. I mean, yeah. Well, and you know that if it comes down to it, you always got Duffy. Yeah. For sure. Well, that's what we talked about. If I get like a lot of stuff done, where and if we end up going racing out of town, like we're going to, we don't know when we're going to do it, but we're obviously going to be gone for a week. That means so, none of us. Lutz or anybody can work on the car. So now. hopefully, so may as well. Somebody else can I'm hoping try. Try. we get enough done that I can go. Here's what I know it needs, and then you do what can you, you have think it done it needs. when I get back in five days. <laughs> yes. And so I obviously have to leave him a stack full of cash. And and uh, yeah. but I got a buddy named TJ Turbo Gatlin. If y'all oh, yeah. ever met him, what Booger's and, uh, rich. Yeah. Shit. So I've already talked to Mark from Rich. I have Booger's already... rich, but he does have one of the nicest Novas I've ever... Actually, two I think of them. he's you still got that street Nova. Yeah. He's seasonally oh, rich. That thing is sick. He's seasonally, seasonally rich. Yeah. Hey, wait, wait. Yeah. I do a good job of saving my money during the week. He does, dude. He does. You do? Yeah. 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 He has saves money? I, hey. I leave it in the safe, man. Listen, okay. every winter, usually every late winter. There's like, no power and shit. And you guys are out driving around in his brand new $30,000 yeah. th that heated Ranger. and cooled Ranger deal. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That was winter. Yeah, it's already in the shop getting fixed, too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but that was winter. And he went and bought that toy. Yeah. Okay, but he doesn't save all of his money. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> I told y'all okay. Booger's so, rich. Yeah. So every every winter, I, I mean, it usually just happens. About February, March, like I'm flat broke. We're not filming yet. And I'm like, hey, man, come borrow like five grand for like a month, you know. And he's like, dude, you got to do a better job of saving and conserving your money. Man. And so he tells me every winter. Hey, and I'm, I'm getting like better. Dad's man, that's hey, crazy, too. But I'm getting better. <laughs> that's, that's hey, when, when you're getting life lessons yeah. from Booger. Yeah. Hey, but you it's, fucked up hey, is it not getting better? It's gotten better, hasn't it? Yeah, it like, has. It has. So it, far, you have a Booger's good. gotten better, too, because he wasn't like that when I first met him. <laughs> Very true. He lived day to day like Chuck does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but I haven't brought any money from him this year. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I brought 10 grand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. No. Well, it was a Sunday, and the bank wasn't open, and I said, hey, can I get 10 grand? I found this lightning. I'm going to go get it today. And he goes, See? He goes, you really need it? I go, I said, yeah. You I, said that? I said, you said you really, you really need it? I was like, you need another fucking bitch in that damn shop? Yeah, no, man. Who is your dad? He's a good friend. He, and I go, yeah, just, just can I borrow it on? He goes, yeah, come on over. So I go over. <laughs> he gives me it wrapped up in duct tape. And so I go out there, I buy this truck and stuff, and I paid him back because I, I just couldn't get to the bank that day. Uh, but I did hit him up the other day, and I said, hey, I may have an issue. Uh, I'm trying to finish this car. I go, do you get any cash sitting around? He goes, yeah. I go, man, I may have to like throw some cash at Duffy like to help me work on this car. So I said, I got money coming in. Like I'm good for it, man. But I'm, I'm good, good for it. it. Here's his but IOU. I and that's better than cash. A little bit of yeah. money. He goes, yeah, yeah, I got you. You know. Yeah. 
So. That's better than getting it stolen from you. I had so if you need money, 60 I remember when that money. happened. That was nice. Yeah. I know. I remember when that happened. Yeah. Mm. Uh, that kind of hurt. That was horrible. That, that was, was fucky. You were going Booger's crazy. definitely done a lot of growing up since, yeah. you know, Thanks. back in the day. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, whenever you had COVID and you was in the hospital and shit, man, he was looking after you. I was like, man, fucking was, Booger, man. I was living in his house. And- He's always, he's Booger's always been the go-to if you're going to a party. Yeah. You know, if you're in Vegas, nobody cooler than having Booger around. <laughs> or, you know, or, else. or, where else could you go? Oh, Nashville. Nashville. Nashville's, Nashville's a good time. I've never Nashville's been to Nashville. Nashville's, yeah. Nashville's a good time. Yeah, yeah I think Chuck took care of. Yeah, the, he I had to be sitting in Nashville. <laughs> Every day well, about it, noon, it was, it was his uh, bachelor already. party, so. <laughs> so, yeah. up to noon, I'd have lunch, and then I just don't remember shit. Yeah. Yeah, he was blocked out by one o'clock in the afternoon. I might have had a couple of people mad at me when I got home. Weird. <laughs> Including my fiance. <laughs> Surprise. She's like, who are those? Did women? you explain? And I was like, I don't even remember them. <laughs> did, you, did you explain to her that that's definitely not going to be one time she's mad at you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she, that should make her feel better. <laughs> don't worry, this uh, is a drop in the bucket yeah. of what's coming. <laughs> this is just the start. Once you so, got that ring on, I'm letting loose. <laughs> There's this song by Eric Strickland. It says, I'm bad for you. And I played it and she was like, God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> I hate you. Yeah, but you know she knows. Oh, yeah. 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 I just told her. I was like, All right, well, I feel like long. you're not really getting much done. Okay, yeah. Yeah, no, my so, bad. I, 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 I came over here and just, uh, you know, totally messed it, up. It is lunch. All of so. Chuck's work, so oh, it's lunch now you can, you can blame it on me if he doesn't get this deal done. Yep. Huh? 2.30. So earlier today we were over at uh, what is it? Is that BNR or is that just Fireball Shop? That's just Fireball Shop. Okay. Okay. Ryan, so Ryan Martin Motorsports. There we go. We were over at uh, Ryan Martin Motorsports and kind of touched on that we had a little out of town th- out of town deal coming up. So Sean's been over here, kind of setting the car up for some uh, even worse surfaces. I don't know what I've been doing. Uh, so fired up and back it out and warm it up and spool it up and see how much boost it makes. Uh, it's turned way down. I'm shooting for 3,807 pounds of boost. Shoo! So shit, shit, Rhodes. Shit. So, all right. We got the 275 bar in it. I mean, that RPM and boost that we're leaving at sounds like we have a 275 tire on it. So, well, we're going to see what happens. Ready? Yep. Six is six is workable. Yeah, I changed a little bit in the in the map. What is that? You know, in the spool up map. Mm-hmm. Seemed like it liked it, huh? Yeah. At ten pounds of boost, I added a whole bunch of timing. Oh yeah. Normally okay. that's when it stops it, you know. So yeah. I didn't want to go past ten. It looked like it made six. So let me see that computer.
So Sean was out in the road. I know what they say. Put them up, but they're being cool. Man, see, dude, that's what I'm talking about. I should have fucking had my shit together and got there before Damon. Yeah. I, we didn't know. Like, nobody even knew he was coming. I like, know, we, Brian said the same thing. He was like, who, who the fuck's that? And I go, that's Damon, man. He goes, no fucking way. I said, backing up. They told us to truck trailer. So, uh, so, y'all going to load it? Yeah, Meet yeah, it back yeah. over at BNR? Yeah, we'll see Okay. So, one car made a hit. Super loud. Pro charge car. Uh, Ryan had his car unloaded. Let's go. Cop. Let's go. Um, went no up there. No questions, you know? Yeah. Got his burnout done. And boom, cherries and berries. So, unfortunately, that's the way it goes sometimes. We got another one rolling up here behind us, so we're out of here. I feel like we can work with that. It was a little bit lazy out of the hole, so whenever the power did come in, it it upset it pretty bad, but man, I think we'll be fine there. You're sounding pretty decent. It was pretty good. It was, it, it was pissed on the one, two. That's... Ours was when the power, like we left way too soft, yes. and when it came in, it, it upset it. I let go of the button, I was like, man, I should have put more in. That, yeah, that road was pretty good up there on the starting line. And you can't help but think that that road that we're going to, after seeing pictures of it, it's going to yes. be even better than that. Yes, yes. So. Good job, man. So if man, we can work with that, huh? I think so. Uh, I feel like we could have left harder and I, it wouldn't well, have got, up, I know, got but upset. I did, but I no, I know, know, I know. You know. It was pretty good up there. Was so, it? Yeah. So they just talked him into that one hit and that was... Yes. I mean, you got to let go of the button. It didn't just annihilate the tires until it got out there. Boy, once it got out there, it was... It, it had to switch. Yeah, 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 yeah. So loud! The god dang parachute cable came out. Right in the middle of a You were man. fixing to go and I was like, what the, what is this? Man, but at least the parachute didn't dump out though. Oh. Boy, it got out there and ate it. It went, it hey. It started to turn sideways real quick. Yes. But, uh, man, I can't help but think that the road we're going to is probably going to be real similar, so. No, it's going to be way better. So we can, like, like we have a pretty good idea now. Like you said, you just need to turn loose of the button once. The button one time. Yep, so we should be good now. We'll get some data and uh, get this thing back. Check it over. Hey, it, that's what I needed. Yeah. I told Phantom, I don't care what happens, as long as I let off the button, and you know how many times I normally go out, let off the button and it don't tell me anything because I smoke mm -hmm. the fucking tires? Mm -hmm. So I hate turning it down too far, but at least now I know. Yeah. You ain't gonna do that at the spot. You're not gonna no. have it too turn down. Or what the next time you leave it. 5,012. That was 5,012. What? <laughs> yeah, damn. That's the first thing but, I asked him when we drove up there. I was I like, would you drop I that down? So, like, I tried to stop the tire as soon as it came off. Yeah. I did stop my tire. Yeah. So, I knew I needed some RPM and stuff for it to recover. So, so I left the line at 5,500. So, I dropped the 500 RPM. See, I'm normally at 4,500. And oh, I, that's the first I, thing I was I at 4 grand that time. 
and six pounds of boost. 606. I didn't get to see his hey, car what, what it looked like when leaving. What y'all think? I was sitting back there talking to these cops, and I look back and you're like, <laughs> 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 Gotta go. I was, I was young. I was <laughs> headed to B&R. Yeah, like, yeah. He goes, he goes what'd they say? He said, they told me to go get the trailer loaded up. And then I come back over here, and, and like, you guys are like, no, don't take the door off. We're making passes. It's like, anybody gonna call Sean? I was like, I don't have his number. I was like, hey, Sean. I said, it's cool, come back. Yeah. <laughs> we were. All right, yeah, and then we seen like 13 of them. We we're like, man, this is a trap. <laughs> hey, 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 listen, the, the, first, the first two came up and they were like, and then they kind of looked and then, then then all of a sudden they were cool. Like we talked them into it. Like the first guy was like, oh, I used to watch you over there make pass all the time. I said, cool, look, man, let me be honest with you. You can watch we us need, right now. We yeah. need one hit, bro. Like we just need one hit. We just need to make it down the road one time, all three of us, and we're going to get on the road and get out of your way. And he was like, yeah, go ahead. That's cool. So listen, awesome. so those so those two drive off and two more two come around the corner. As they Dude, there are so oh, many just apps, circling. Totally different attitudes, bro. They pulled Can up there like, give me your fucking license. And I was like, No man, shit. I have my license in my pants, my race pants, bro. I don't know what to tell you. And he said, uh, he said, Well, what are you doing here? And I'm like, I mean, it kind of looks on, obvious. He's like, yeah, here, yeah, right? and you don't want to like, say those yeah. other two cops said we could do it. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I said, I said, hey, listen, your homies just left here. And they told us to put them up. That's what I started with because they were like totally different attitudes. So I, just, I said, hey, y'all's buddies just left here. And they, what do I look like? I said, oh, I don't know, a big dude, and like a little Mexican guy or something. He was like, they're like, oh, so and so and so and so. I was like, yeah, they're right down there if you want to go talk to them because they said, you know. Well, they all met up over there. So the one dude was like, <laughs> chilling right hey, I used to watch you over there being ours. I said, man, okay, listen, that was the, that's how we lead into this deal. I'm like, cool. You know how it can is. we get one more? Here they are. There's, there's one right there. <laughs> Make sure. If we, can get, if we can all get one, we're going to get out of your hair. Yep. And they said, all right, see you later. So let's go ahead and get out of their hair. <laughs> like, I mean, it was cool of them to let us do yeah. that. I, I, I let's not that. push it. I needed that. And like you said, within 30 minutes, it's going to be raining. He, yeah. said, or allegedly. Allegedly. he goes, hey, uh, allegedly. he goes, hey, we're just, I'm honestly, we're that. looking for all the, so bad, all the, the young guys, the troublemakers that come and do donuts in the parking lot. The and swingers. Donuts, bro. <laughs> yeah. we're, we're making single hits and then we're putting them in the trailer and rolling. Yeah. Okay. Sean tried to do it, don't I? Damn, fucked our whole plan on, man. We had a good plan on it. I'd have stayed on the road, I would. You remember Nebraska? We just went around the yeah, block yeah, one time. Yeah, I, that's all. <laughs> I was like, one bird out. Here's the I, cops are I here. I turned out the car, I was like, oh, shit, who's busting our spot up? Oh, there's there's all fucked Nebraska. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's another cop. No, no it's that's, not. Security. that's security. That's security from across the highway. This is the guy that's going to be a dick. This is the one from across the highway. Top flight security. World, Craig. Of the world, Craig. Well, look, I'm going to be honest with you guys. <laughs> Well, it wasn't super fast, but it was definitely super helpful. Yeah, I learned a lot. No matter if I scrap that tune up or not, I learned a lot. Like sure. if we go out and we get a road that is even, even blacktop that's iffy, mm -hmm. that tune up with a few tweaks will be okay. Like even if it was bare out there, it still would have left the line. For sure, for sure. So, and you know, that... Uh, we haven't done that in a long time. Like last time we tried on blacktop, it went horrible. Oh, but I'm, I'm also the guy who I'll smoke the tires four passes in a row and turn it down a little bit every time. So that's why this time I wanted to make sure that I started off as conservative as possible. And it was, and yep. you learn a lot more if you go slow than if you smoke the tires and try to turn a little bit down. It took me a lot of time to learn that. Yes. So either that or I got lucky. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> either you way. Know, either way. Either way it either worked way, out. Either way it worked out. <laughs>